a full people. Me I tell you now, I want to take on the time and listen to this story. Now, I've been doing a series of videos on Belize. Because, like I said, Belize have 350,000 people. And every day, them have at least three to four murder. It's like they're killing out their population. But this video here is a video I did a while back. So I remastered it and I'm interjecting and speaking on this. I want you guys to listen to this. And then I'm going to come back in and, like I said, I'm going to alternate between the old video and I'm going to interject new stuff into it and talk about it because this is crazy. Now, this thing to me, like, when you hear me say it all the while, this is like a Hollywood movie. This uh, situation here to me, it reads like a, like a fiction. It also seems like Belize is not a real place with all the stuff that's going on there. And I don't mean to chuckle. I'm really serious. So check this out. Let's go. But who killed Madrid? Reports are that earlier today, some of his limbs and personal belongings were discovered near where his body was found. And while Belmopan police have been mum on Madrid's murder, we know that Russell Hyde has been detained for questioning since Tuesday. With several theories ventilated, some are saying that it's a message being sent. But to whom? Was it to Russell Hyde? The notorious Roaring Creek resident was in the news on Monday, May 18th, after his wife, Roselia Galvez, was fatally shot when she was traveling in this black pickup truck near the Guanacaste Park. A man came out. Quick note, Russell Hyde friend get killing best friend and them uh, dismember his body. And then one day he was riding with his wife and them shoot up the car and his wife dead. All right, I want to listen to this carefully, you know. Please. The angle when they come from, they don't come from my side, but um, maybe um, it could be me, maybe it could be she, maybe it could be... She, but they fire the shot and uh, kill somebody, and um, hopefully they go um, catch up with the killer and... Um, the policeman do their job because I don't want to do no job. I just want peace. I just want them to do their job. I won't involve her. I won't, you know. I left it to the Almighty. And you guys didn't get any, any threats? Anybody try, you know, send you guys a message? Um, basically, um, I, I, know, I know got no threats and no, you know, so... Uh, that's about it. I, I never expect. I just, you know. Do you think they were waiting for you guys there? Someone must have known that you guys were passing by. I mean, it looked like they were waiting. No? Um, I feel like somebody called from the, um, from the um, entertainment spot and tell them I'm leaving, something like that. You guys didn't see, and the son, your sons were in the back of the truck. Um, you guys didn't see who the person was, I mean, the description, anything? Well, we get um, not slightly, but um, it was slightly. That was Rosa I speaking when his wife died. And uh, one thing I want you guys to notice, notice how when he's speaking, he's looking away from the camera, turning his face, uh, his voice get lower. That means he's lying and he's not telling the truth. But what is kind of crazy about Belize, a lot of people, all these gangsters, be giving interviews and stuff like that when it comes to certain things. But this was him when his wife died and before he got murdered. But check this video out. Let's go. It's me again. The great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification button, please. Help and check out the WhatsApp group. Now, I'm in Belize. 
And this is a guy by the name of Russell Hyde. The other day, they killed one of his associates, chopped off his head, got him body, cut off him limb then. And then Russell, he was driving home from a party, him and his wife, and then shot up him truck and killed him wife. I'm going to tell you guys what happened to Russell, but this is a crazy war that's been going on with the Hyde family. Car Russell now is a big time gang member and he have enough things I go on down at Belize and he piss off some people and some people piss him off. But I am telling you, are the most people may ever see dead family member in a one war, family member and beyond. So I'm gonna run somewhere of this thing here and then I'm gonna come back and talk about it. Yo, me telling about Belize, you know. Belize, Jamaica, Trinidad are the three most dangerous places in the Caribbean, if not in the entire world. The kind of crime that's going on in Belize, Jamaica and Trinidad. You don't even have those crime going on in uh, Syria and Iraq, not even Ukraine. But listen to this. After several years and as many attempts made on his life, tonight Roaring Creek's so-called crime boss, Russell Hyde, is dead. The 45-year-old businessman and his 28-year-old companion, Marcy Humes, were killed on his farm near Society Hall, Camelota Village, on Friday night. Along with a third person, Hyde and Humes were ambushed by at least three gunmen who were dressed in dark clothes and carrying flashlights as they drove up to Russell's house. In Afida Road, um, the residence of Mr. Russell Hyde, we observed one female with apparent gunshot wounds to the chest area and the leg. She was transported to the Western Regional Hospital where she succumbs to her, to her injuries. Um, a search of the immediate area found the body of Russell Hyde and um, apparently dead. So he was transported to the Western Regional Hospital also and he was pronounced, uh, officially pronounced dead, no? Well, the young man that was along with him, which was the third person, I think he gave well, information more or less so that when I drove up by the house, it tell Rosie says a three person in a dark clothing come in say make her run. Well Russell never run but he start running. After one day was the attacking then he started running and shooting in the back. And that's when they shot both Russell and the, the young lady. Shot Russell in the back and after he dropped it, look like in Ghana and finished him in a, in a face. Now, after them kill him wife, while him a drive, the man them come up and house, three man dressed in a black, and gone down him and a girl with him a grind. You understand? So Russell, the man where they are the front, Russell Hyde, Three men come up on him yard. That are after the shooting with him in him van with him wife, you know. Them come on him yard and shoot him. Like you hear what him father say. First, he never did have a run, but then him start run. And then him shoot him in him back. And them come and them shoot the young lady. Yo, me have to go through this and we have to break it down food. Let's go. The gunmen then reportedly turned their weapons on a screaming Humes and ended her life. The well-known hair braider in the village was not a troublemaker, but was caught up with the wrong person. By the time we reached the hospital, he, she was already dead. Because you get seven shots, one first in the leg and then a lot in, in the stomach area. But the main one is right above her breast that, that the doctor claimed killed her. I don't know what Russell got going on, but this young lady right here, them gear seven shot 
in our stomach. Exactly one week later, Hyde's lieutenant was reportedly missing, and on May 26th, the body of 28-year-old Edilberto Madrid was retrieved from the Belize River off the Valley of Peace Road. Madrid had been butchered, decapitated, disemboweled, and dismembered. Within 24 hours, another dismembered body, that of 51-year-old Roaring Creek resident Stephen Deeds Hyde, was found in a shallow grave at a farm belonging to Hyde in Camalote. Stephen, who was his cousin, lived on the farm where his body was found. They found his body. He had missing hands, missing foot, but they found all his pieces. So, when you see what go on, after them shot him wife, then them kill him lieutenant, then them kill one of them cousin, and bury the cousin in a shallow grave for him, for him farm. Then, him lieutenant, them chop off him head and got him, and throw him in the Belize River. You see what's going on in Belize? Belize is one of the most dangerous country upon the planet. Now, the thing is, Belize have more money than Jamaica. And uh, I would say they have a better economy and better things going on. So, the the gang violence and the kind of violence that's coming out of here, it's kind of crazy. But let's go. In a shallow grave right here. In a shallow grave, already buried. All right. Now, can you give me an idea? There was a murder just a similar, they found a body in a similar condition just yesterday. What's the connection between the two men? Well, the connection there, Stephen Hyde and those, they were best friends and they were associates with Russell Hyde. And they're, at the time, they were hanging out with Russell Hyde. But as Roaring Creek reels in the... All three of them money are dead. The youth on the left. Them got him cut off him head. The one in the middle, them do the same thing. Cause him and the youth on the left, a best friend. And the one on the right, a Russell Hyde. Them wet him up in a females with him and him girl. And I need a youth. And the commonality is them hang out with Russell Hyde. Let's go. And three weeks ago, on August 11th, Russell's sister, niece, and her boyfriend were viciously killed at their Southwest Street home in Lehigh's Acres, Florida. Derla Pitts, Starlet Pitts, and Michael Kelly Jr. were reportedly killed by Brian Hyde, a cousin of Russell, who had been living with them for seven months. But was Brian a sleeper cell, activated in the wake of the homicides back in Belize? Sir, we understand that a relative is currently in detention and is being questioned on the triple murder in the U.S. Does this come as a shock to you or even like a stab in the back but it's one of your own people, one of your own relatives that uh, could be the perpetrator in this crime? Well, it comes to my shock because I I couldn't believe that they won, which I'm not sure as yet. You see, I just room over here, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it to such a big consideration because I don't know if they're if the Hindu it or what, but I have on the news. At this present time, we cannot establish if, if this is connected to those crimes that occurred, but our investigation continues and we are looking at all angles at this time to see if there's any connection in this um, crime. In three months, 11 persons directly related to Russell Hyde have been murdered, according to the eldest brother, Alvin Hyde Jr. Of the 13 siblings, only six, five brothers and one sister remain alive. Six died from violent crimes, while one perished in a fatal accident. Things are By the time I do that video, another one of them brother gets shot. I want party where him just come out of jail and him do 15 years for a murder. So now a five pitney, five children left out of the 13 kids where Mr. Hyde have. That's Russ Hyde's father. Let's go. Um, strategy that happens amongst the family, like the release is started last time, right? Uh, uh, within the family that happened. And um, well, starting with my second brother, John, yeah, by grand, he just shot a bell can. 
Then um, who, who else? I think it was um, Judge Michael. He may get shot at Sokots. He may get shot by police. And then I think he went to who else? Um, James. James Hyde. Then from there, um, Randolph. Well, um, like I say, each one we have we one life where we live, and um, we, we carry on with a life. Apart from, apart from that, like the reason why they, this happened, I can I can say. To update everybody, them still not find out who kill Rosa Hyde, and what is very interesting there was a young man there with him and up to now the police them can't find this person listen to this in this murder what we are looking for one person a witness in connection with this murder who was with russell hyde and miss marcy humes at the time of their death um who can give us more information in regards to the shooting of these individuals whoa 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 so 11 people around Russell Hyde get killed. His niece in Miami and her man get licked down by a family member of Hyde. Him friend them get licked down, him wife, him girlfriend, him get licked down and it just keeps going on and on. Now, I did this video to highlight the violence that's coming out of Belize. Because some people think Belize is a place to play with. But also, in this video, I hope to show how ghetto people is. Throughout this whole video, you don't hear anybody say Russell was this and Russell was that. All his family members are saying that he's a good guy. And when, when things up now, then they want the police to come in and solve the case when at the end of the day they're enabling all these bad man and gun man and them family and everything and that's the outcome in Belize it's different than Jamaica Jamaica the man them love hide and do certain things in Belize it's a little bit more different you understand maybe because it's a part of South America where you have more more influence in certain things like guns or whatever gun easier to come across the border but belize is a little bit different because jamaica the man them i them work behind politician this that belize the man them are come for but jamaica the gun man them licky licky you know because you and, I'm, and, and some man up the road I war. And the boy them with up on your side, next thing you know, the man them up the road give them money. And them come in up kill you. And them live in a your area. I saw the man them on Jamaica stay. Belize, it's a little bit different. And Russell Hyde, he's dead. And 11 members of his friends and family is dead. Them kill off other people and the war goes on. Police don't have no information. People dead, then they want police to have the case. And it's just an ongoing cycle in Belize, just like Jamaica. Yo, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hit the notification button. And the reason why I'm doing these videos is to highlight the violence that's coming out of the Caribbean and these countries. And if you add up all the violence that's coming out of Jamaica, Trinidad, Belize, uh, US Virgin Islands, St. Kitts, those places, it's like a quarter of the world violence or more than a quarter. You understand? So this is very serious yo the government them in a them area them have to do something or is it a part of their plan for population control i don't know i don't know but 
one thing I want to say, and maybe I shouldn't say it on this video. I'll say it on another video. Watch the channel to know my opinion on taking out the gangs them, the head of the gangs them in Jamaica. My name is Countryman, I'm out.